Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video that I am so excited about. I am gonna be talking all about my skincare. Yeah, I'm just so excited to do this. I have been so into skincare. Um, I'd say for about a year now is when I started to get into it. Um, and I started to do more than just like wash my face and moisturize. Um, so I'm really excited to dive deep into all of the products that I use morning, night, on occasion. And these are like the actual real deal products that I use. Nothing in this video is sponsored. Um, let me preface this by saying that I am obviously not like a skincare expert. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just someone that likes um, skincare. I feel like now whenever I do makeup, I always try and keep it very skin focused and I barely even wear makeup. Like I wear makeup maybe once a week. I'm so excited to talk about this with you guys because I feel like I finally have a good routine down. Um, oh, what I was saying about my disclaimer was I have been super fortunate to where I've always had pretty good skin my whole life. Um, I've never really struggled with acne. I have normal skin. It's not that dry. It's not that oily. It's like, it's very normal skin and I'm really lucky. Um, so I definitely know that. With that being said, my skin goals are typically just to have an even complexion and I like my skin to feel really hydrated and look really healthy and glowing and plump. Um, so that's kind of the direction that I take my skin. Okay, so let's start in the morning. You guys will see that a lot of my skincare is very intuitive. Morning skincare is very dependent on my workouts. If I wake up and have a workout within the first like two hours that I'm waking up, um, I will typically just put on sunscreen and I have two sunscreens that I rotate between. So we'll start off with that if I am working out in the morning. Um, I typically don't wash my face in the morning either. Um, if I do, I'll get into those in a second. But if I am working out within two hours of waking up, I will typically not do skincare, then come home from the workout, shower, and then do my morning skincare, even if it's like at noon, not in the morning anymore. Um, also to do like my morning routine whenever the first like actual skincare product regimen starts. So I rotate between two sunscreens and they each have a purpose. So the first one is the Super Goop Glow Screen with SPF 40. This is amazing if I don't have any sort of self tanner on whatsoever, or even if like my face and my body are both tan, I will also use this as well. This is gorgeous because it just gives you such a great glow to your skin. I feel like you guys have seen this all over the internet. It is totally worth the hype and I really love it. Um, sunscreen is the most important part of your skincare. And I hate to say this, but it is something that I neglected for too long. Um, I really started getting onto sunscreen last summer. The whole reason that sunscreen is so important is because no matter what other products I'm talking about in this video, if you are not putting sunscreen over top of all of your products, everything that you put on is a total waste. But if I have some color on my body and I want my face to match, or if I just want a little bit of color like I have this on today, um, this is the Dermatology Medical Grade Skincare Universal Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 46. I'm gonna have everything that I talk about linked down below, but this is really, really great because it just gives a little bit of color um, but it also has SPF 46 in it and it will, it leaves your skin with a little bit of color, glowy, very even. It just really evens out your skin tone and it's not as like much of a white cast as the glow screen gives. And if I am tan, I also like to sometimes, depends on the day, depends on the mood, I like to add in the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine, Sunshine Drops. I love these two mixed together. Um, I don't know how people put this on just like straight on their face. Like I always have to mix it with something. Um, and these two mixed together are like an exact dupe of the Urban Decay One and Done, which they discontinued and I'm so sad because it was like literally my favorite tinted moisturizer ever. But these two are like a perfect match of what the Urban Decay One and Done was. So I'll put some sort of sunscreen on for a workout and then I will come home, shower, we're good to go. Now let's pretend that I'm working out at night and it's a normal morning for me. This is my normal skincare routine. I wake up and I assess my skin. Sometimes if I sleep with my window open, my skin feels really dry. Sometimes if um, it was hot in my room, my skin feels like, it really just depends how I feel in the morning. If my under eyes feel really dry in the morning or I know that I'm going to be wearing makeup 
within a couple of hours i will go in with the peter thomas roth hyaluronic cloud hydrogel eye patches so these are just eye patches i'm sure you guys see these all over the internet um they are totally oh they're like stuck to the cap they are totally worth the hype they are really really great products and you just put them on your under eyes and you let them sit um i'm sure there's like a correct amount of time but i leave it on until they like kind of dry out a little bit for me so typically it's like 30 minutes or so they feel really really good they're nice and cooling under the eyes and they have hyaluronic acid which i have learned is like the secret to plump skin um so i love anything with hyaluronic acid i'll pretty much buy it if my skin is like so dry and needs moisture that morning or I just know that like I'm gonna be on camera later and maybe I want my skin to look a little extra glowy. Whatever the reason is, um, I will go in with a face sheet mask. And this one is from Sephora. It's the Lishi face mask. I really like this. this. This is pretty cheap. I think it was like $4 a mask. The only thing is that I'm really sensitive to the cold and this mask is so freaking cold. So I have to be like really in the mood for this mask. Otherwise, it's just way too cold for me. I'll like pair these two together sometimes and they are amazing. Okay, so in the morning, like I said, I don't always wash my face. If my face feels like it has a lot of leftover product from the night before or if I'm putting on like makeup, then I'll wash my face, but I don't always. If I do, I use one of three cleansers and it really just depends on the day. So if I'm in the shower, I have the Cetaphil. No, I should just go get it. It's a CeraVe, it's a CeraVe um, cleanser, like the original cleanser. So I have that in the shower and every time I'm in the shower, if I'm washing my face, I'll just use that. Outside of the shower, I typically use the Osea Ocean Cleanser. Um, this has like a normal like squirt bottle, but mine broke on the plane flying home from Idaho. So I don't have that anymore. Um, but I love this cleanser. I really like milky cleansers. If it feels foamy or drying or like feels like actual soap, I don't like it. I want it to be creamy. I want it to be very, very milky. And this is all the sorts and it is amazing. But a new cleanser that I recently just got as a sample from Sephora with one of my Sephora orders is the Tatcha Soft Cream Cleanser. I'm totally gonna repurchase this in the full size and I love this cleanser. I really have to say um, it's totally worth it. If you guys can get like the sample, try it out and you'll see what I mean. But it is such a cool consistency because this cleanser is like grainy, but very creamy on the skin all at the same time. It almost looks like a moisturizer that you're putting onto your skin when you clean it. It is just, oh, it's just amazing. So all three of those cleansers that I said, except the CeraVe is honestly not my favorite. So the Osea and the Tatcha one are my two favorites. If I choose to not use a cleanser that day, totally fine with me, um, I will just rinse my face with some water and pat it off and I'm good to go. Okay, now starts the hydration portion of my morning routine. I love Paula's Choice. I think they have really, really great skincare. They are probably my favorite brand at the moment of skincare. Um, so I use the Paula's Choice, and this is in the exact order. Um, wash my face and then I go in with this. This is the Paula's Choice Advanced Replenishing Toner with Hyaluronic Acid. So this is a toner and the way that I was explained toners versus serums resonates with me, so I'll explain it to you guys. A toner is like a mixed drink to your skin and then a serum is like a shot of you know straight whatever right to your skin so the serums are definitely gonna be more potent than toners um but at the end you kind of get the same result i really really love this i used to think that toners were like the devil because i learned that all these toners had a bunch of alcohol in them and that they were really drying for your skin and they were really really bad so i stopped using toners a while ago for a long long time and then once i realized like okay not all toners have to be drying and like have to be terrible for your skin um, that's when I found hydrating toners and I really think that has totally changed the game. So this one is amazing. So I put this on with my hands. I pat it all over and you can like immediately see how glowy and hydrated it makes my skin look and it feels really, really amazing. After my toner, then I go in with the Summer Fridays Deep Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. This one is a newer product and I think it's new anyway for Summer Fridays. I like it. Will I repurchase it? 
probably do i notice a big difference not really but i like how it makes my skin feel then after my serum then i go in with the paula's choice c15 super booster so this is 15 percent vitamin c with vitamin e and ferluic acid i probably said that word wrong i don't even know what ferluic acid is if i'm being totally honest with you guys okay so i use this only in the morning and this is my second bottle. I absolutely love this product and I give huge credit to my skin changing to vitamin C. I was using vitamin C from all different brands for a very long time and I'll be honest, I never saw a big difference. And I was like, I don't even know if it's working. And vitamin C is like a very expensive product to get. So I was like, I don't even know if it's working, but I'm just gonna like, keep on keeping on using it hopefully i'll notice a difference soon and within the past like three months i would say i have noticed the biggest difference in my skin's evenness my skin tone is incredibly even um i don't have on any foundation right now this is just the tinted moisturizer with a little bit of concealer and um Blush. but my skin tone even without makeup has never been as even as it is this really does like do great things for the skin and it's a very gradual change it's not something that one day you're gonna wake up and like notice a difference from yesterday but it is a product where you're gonna wake up one day and notice a difference from today versus six months ago and it's just gonna hit you one day and you're like oh my god my skin tone is so even it it's just like crazy what this product does it is amazing so i could not recommend this enough if you're going to get anything from today's video that i'm recommending i would recommend this over anything that i recommend you can get cheaper toners you can get cheaper cleansers cheaper moisturizers but i think investing in vitamin c is really important and make sure that you put on sunscreen after vitamin c because it's going to really attract the sun if i am wearing makeup i will go in with eye cream if i'm not i forego the eye cream in the mornings just because it, i don't know like it just gets really gunky around my eyes and like my eyes will water all day long if i have um eye cream on but if i'm wearing like makeup it obviously makes the concealer look better so i'll do like the smallest little amount of eye cream the eye cream that i use is the laneige water bank blue hyaluronic eye cream i also think this is relatively new to laneige but i don't really know but i think so um, I really like this eye cream. I think eye creams are a dime a dozen. It's pretty good. Will I repurchase this? Maybe, but will I repurchase any eye cream? Yeah, like I'm really not picky with eye creams, but this one is good for right now and I really like it and it feels good underneath the eyes. Okay, let's get on to moisturizer, which is the next step. This moisturizer is the best moisturizer in the entire world and I will stand by that 100%. So my favorite moisturizer ever is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. And I got the big bottle because I go through these things like crazy. This moisturizer is truly game changing. It is truly incredible. It is just like the wettest and glowiest and most hydrating moisturizer I've ever put on. I've tried other moisturizers like night creams that are thick and daytime moisturizers that are thin and this moisturizer does not like it does not even compare to any other moisturizer that i've ever used this is good morning it's good at night it's good under makeup it is good all the freaking time i've been using a moisturizer for literally as long as i can remember like i think since i was like 12 years old i've been moisturizing my skin every morning and night um and i think my skin like really thanks me for it now that i'm 24. um so crazy but i i just really love this moisturizer it is so good and trust me i've tried high-end i've tried drugstore like nothing holds a candle to this moisturizer it is just so good you guys can see in the footage like how it just makes your skin look so glowy like you guys can see kind of like in between my eyebrows right here like that glow that's it's honestly from this moisturizer it is just the best it shows gorgeously through your makeup it is just perfect that's my morning and then after all of that is when i will go in with my sunscreen um and i let that sit for like five minutes on my skin um, I'll like get dressed and then I'll come back in the bathroom, put on like deodorant, perfume, and then I'll put on sunscreen. So either glow screen 
or the tinted moisturizer. So let's do like my big night routine. So let's start with taking off my makeup. I don't wear makeup every day. So if I am wearing makeup, I use this product. If I'm not wearing makeup, I skip this product. But I use the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser. This is a squalene based face cleanser and makeup remover. So I use this to remove my makeup and you guys will see in the clip, um, it does a pretty good job removing everything. So I will just scrub with this. Um, I really like this product. I've used the Tatcha cleansing oil, which is great. I've also used coconut oil. So I'll first check off my makeup and then I will go in with a cleanser. So I always cleanse at night. Um, even if I don't have makeup, I will still cleanse at night because I like to take off like the residence, the residue of like my morning skincare and also like you sweat throughout the day, like you touch your face throughout the day, like it's just good to wash your face before you go to bed. And I also do my skincare about like an hour before I go to bed because I like everything to soak in. And then I'll go in with the cleansers and again, I'll either use the Osea or the Tatcha face cleanser. Then um, I typically only do this next step in the shower and I normally do this on like Sunday nights when I take like that shower, you know what I mean? The one that like takes you forever. So this looks really gross because I keep it in my shower so it doesn't look the best, but this is the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. I literally love this stuff. This is the best exfoliant ever. So this is essentially a mask, but I use it just as an exfoliator. So I'll cleanse my face and then in the shower, I will put this mask on and I will rub it all over my face and I will like literally rub it for like mm, a minute or two minutes and I just rub, rub, rub all over my skin. It just feels so good and then I leave it. I don't touch it and then I'll go in and I'll like shave armpits, legs, whatever, shave the whole nine. Shave, leave it on and then I will just rinse it off. This is post cleanse. Your skin for, I'm not kidding, the next three days will literally feel like a baby's ass. It is going to be so soft. You want everyone to touch your face. I'm not even kidding, like whatever they put in this, they put new skin in this, like I don't even know. It is so insane and it is worth every single penny. This product is so incredible and it's technically a mask, but like I said, I use it as, a, as an exfoliator and it is just so freaking good. Moving on, if my skin is acting up, which it normally doesn't, but if it does, I will then go in with the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Let me tell you, this is like a toner too, so I will just put this like in the palm of my hands and then put it on like I would this toner, okay? This stuff will absolutely make your skin look incredible it will clear up your skin it will leave it glowing it will leave it even like bha is just so incredible for your skin however it is really harsh on my skin so i can't use this every day even if i use it twice a week even if i use it once a week it like it it leaves my skin feeling really 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 dry so if i use this typically the next morning i will go in with this but it's such a good product that I have to talk about it, but at least my skin's super, super dry, so I don't use it every day. If I could though, I so would. I think this is just like one of the best products out there. Paula's Choice, so good. So again, I go back in with the Paula's Choice toner, just like in the morning. This is the hydrating toner with hyaluronic acid. Put it all over my skin, it's gorgeous. Then I'll go back in just like the morning with the Summer Fridays Deep Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. It's amazing, just like the morning. Now, I don't put on vitamin C at night, but I do put on the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid at night. Sometimes I will put this on in the morning if I'm like doing my makeup and I really don't wanna wear like foundation or anything, but I just find that this stuff is like so thick, which isn't a bad thing, but it's not really what I want underneath makeup. Um, that this is so thick, but it does make your skin look really, really plump. So if I'm doing like just eyes and like maybe a little bit of concealer, I will put this on in the morning, but it's pretty much just a nighttime product. And this will make your skin so freaking plump. Okay, then after that, I will go in with eye cream. And this is the Laneige eye cream, same one that I use in the morning sometimes, but I always use eye cream at night. And then I'll go in with my moisturizer. Again, the Clinique Moisture Search Intense, the best product ever. 
then I will use an eyelash serum. My eyelashes right now are like so puny because I just started putting this back into my routine because I'm trying to get like long lashes for the summertime. Winter is hibernation and now the spring is like time to get ready again. So I'm like getting ready for the summer right now. So this is the Babe Lash Essential Serum. Um, I have a code which I'll link down below. I don't know how much money you save when you use my code, but I do know that, that it like gets you money off. This product actually works. I just put this on my eyelashes and I also will like brush it onto my lashes and then that's that. Um, and then I'll put on chapstick, which I put on chapstick throughout the entire day, but I really love the Summer Fridays lip balm. This, oh, lip butter balm. This is like, I think it's a newer product for them, but it is really, really good. I love it. I also like the Laneige sleeping mask. I also like Aquaphor and I also like Carmex, but as of right now, this is like my tried and true and I really, really like it. So guys, I know this was kind of a long video, so I really thank you guys for sticking it out and listening. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm gonna have everything linked down below. Like I said, I would also love to hear any of your skincare tips. Um, and this is like actually everything that I do. Like, like I said, I'm not adding in any like fake, like red light therapy or any like masks or anything that I don't use. Like this is actually what I do every single day and it does not take as long as you think. Guys, that is my skincare routine. Like I said, please leave any tips below, any of your favorite products below. If I'm using anything wrong, let me know, but it seems to be working for me, but let me know. I'm always open to learning more. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.